Welcome back to another Cinema 40 tutorial. Uh, we've been talking about the Forester pack, talked about grass, talked about trees. Last thing I wanted to show you guys is just a quick one about the uh, Forester rock. Uh, so, under extensions under Forester, you can bring in a rock very quickly. Um, and let's just go ahead and dock our, our own view here so you can get a good look. Um, comes in. Just like that, um, you know, we can randomize the shape of the rock by playing with the seed. Um, it does come in fairly large, so, you know, you can quickly change the rock size. Um, and then if you just click apply material, you've got a um, material on there right away. And you can even click randomize rock to get a different, uh, type of material or different shape, etc. So um, just wanted to show you something I thought was kind of cool. Um, I just kind of set up a real basic scene here. Um, all I did was I have this original rock, um, which is somewhere in the scene. It's over here, super tiny. Um, and then I just like created a basic plane here. Um, and then you'll notice I just using soft selection just kind of like carved out the middle and then I split another plane um, to kind of use as the place that I wanted to um, distribute my my geometry for the rocks um, and then I also um, just kind of like added a couple of background elements so that when you look at the whole scene here um, yeah, you know, just kind of looks like a, a poorly done river valley. Um, didn't spend a whole lot of time on it. Didn't use a lot of segments, so it's kind of blocky. Um, just wanted to be fairly quick for render time. Um, and so what we're gonna do is taking our rock, we're gonna do the same thing we did before. We're gonna come in, we're gonna go to Forester, and we're gonna go to Multi-Cloner. And we're just gonna make that a child of the Multi-Cloner. Um, we don't see anything yet. Let's just go ahead and undock this so we're looking at the goods. Um, but same thing as before, my, I'm gonna use my split plane and I'm just gonna distribute the geometry. And there it is. Quickly I've got and these rocks just kinda like going in a, in a place that would be my water. That's where I would have my water. Um, I could add like a different material on top of that, just using leftover tree trunk material, but you know, some kind of a brown or, you know, even some, some, uh, texture of, uh, smaller rocks in there. But, um, and then I just brought in like a plane, um, and gave it a, a good water material, um, that I didn't spend a whole lot of time on, but gives me a, something to uh, to play with and then I can just change my depth just depending on how many rocks I want to see in my river um, and same thing as before if we come into our multi cloner there's a lot of different things we can do um, one of the things I was messing with was um, just turbulizing the distribution um, it seems to just kind of like make some adjustments to how the rocks are distributed. Um, I also tried going up to like a thousand on the distribution count and started getting some interesting formations, but a little bit predictable in their placement. So um, you can start by playing with the seed. Um, you can also uh, turbulize positioning. Um, Z is not gonna do it for you. If you overdo it, that's just kinda making it stretch out from the bottom of the riverbed. Uh, y is making it go straight up, um, but you could probably use a little bit of X. Um, so something like that, maybe. Um, you know, and obviously we're doing this very quickly. Um, I'm gonna turbulize the rotation a little bit on the X. Try bringing down the Y a little bit see what that does um, can do the same thing with the size like really really make the size uh, 
have some scale differences and yeah I mean we're just messing around to see until we kind of get the look of the look and feel of the creek that we like but um, like I said before it seems to be the case with all of these is there's more parameters than you could ever need um, to fine-tune this um, the only thing that you're not going to find with rocks is any kind of um, hyper wind because obviously you need a pretty good gust of wind to, to start animating rocks um, blowing around um, but I'm sure you could figure out a way to animate them if you really wanted to um, but anyway this has just been another quick Cinema 4D tutorial um, obviously you know last thing we could do here is uh, just bring in a tree um, and kind of add add that to the scene so that we've got um, a little bit of each. I'm just going to bring the size way down, kind of match our scene, and then we can even bring in another multi cloner, make it a child. I haven't picked anything from the library. Let's just do something simple. So it's not going to have a huge render time. Uh, let's try. Now we'll just do like a simple pine tree. And then I'm just going to select the. Uh, oops, I'm, I'm in the viewport there. I'm just going to select the background, the landscape there to be what I distribute on. And let's just see what happens. Just drop it in there. Uh, I don't see anything yet. It's not a whole lot of work you need to do beyond that to kind of make the landscape look good. Obviously just increasing the segments and adding some better materials on the, on the grass would make this go a long way, but I mean, look at that. We're already looking at kind of a cool scene. So just gives you an example of how easy it is to work with this plugin. Um, thanks again for watching and stay tuned.